paradise for holiday makers, visitors have flocked to this Indian Ocean island to enjoy its beautiful beaches and turquoise seas, fueling a tourism industry that accounts for almost 7% of the country's economy and employs 60,000 people. Traditionally, Mauritius has relied upon the European market for tourists, but following the financial crisis a few years ago and the subsequent slowdown in Europe, business has got a lot more competitive and tougher here for the hotels on the island. Many are less than two-thirds full, and with costs rising, they've seen profits squeezed. So competition to win guests is fierce. Attitude Resort started up five years ago and now owns 10 hotels, largely serving visitors from France, UK, Germany and South Africa. It's trying to attract holidaymakers by developing its brand. The competition is, is fierce, it's a standard, standard healthy situation I would say, uh, but unfortunately this is the situation, you know. So we're shopping around every now and then and make no mistake, obviously we're taking clients from our competitor friends. Around two-thirds of the island's tourists come from Europe, but recovery has remained sluggish. While arrivals from the UK increased, the biggest market, France, was down. Another key market, South Africa, also fell. Overall, visitor numbers, though, have grown by 4% on the year before, much of this spurred by new markets like Asia. This young couple have travelled from eastern China for a one-week holiday. Because here is very beautiful, and uh, Chinese come here don't need to get a visa, so we come here very easily. Before we want to, to we want to Europe, but uh, the visa maybe takes our more than one month. Mauritius has been actively courting emerging markets, in particular China, India, and the Middle East. It's recently agreed deals to add new air routes from China, and while that country's share of the tourism market is still small. Visitor numbers have almost doubled from a year ago and are expected to reach 70,000 this year. Ten years back, there were almost no Chinese coming to Mauritius. So we, we have started to work very hard in 2011. Every year, we can notice quite a big growth. Gregory de Klerk heads up the local hotel and restaurant trade body and manages one of the island's upscale resorts. It certainly is working, uh, still not in huge numbers, but in positive uh, territory. I mean, the growth is, uh, is absolutely excellent. Uh, we would probably prefer an even accelerated growth in that area. And I think it's a very prudent economical strategy and a tourist strategy, because if there's a crisis in Europe, maybe you know, they may not be in other parts of the world and vice versa. So I think long term, I think balancing the, the, the key feeder markets for a destination is certainly going to be a more secure uh, strategy uh, overall. Countries like China with their growing middle class and rising spending power offer great potential. For now, tapping into new markets is going some way to offset the slow pace of recovery in traditional European markets. And businesses now hope that as Europe's economic climate improves, tourism in Mauritius will pick up too.